let's take a look at how we can practice drawing and recognizing fructose quickly. The first rule of thumb is fructose has a ketone. So this looks like a likely candidate to be fructose. The next thing to recognize is fructose looks just like glucose, only with the aldehyde of glucose shifted one down so that we can make a ketone. So let's take a look. This is glucose because we know it's D glucose. The last chiral carbon has an OH group to the right. Right is D for dextrose. And from the rule of two, three, four, if you've seen my videos previously, the third one being glucose, fourth one being galactose, the lactose, second one being mannose. Third one is glucose and the third position is flipped. So this is definitely glucose. So following this structure, we will bring one thing down and we leave everything else as is. We'll just bring the double bonded oxygen down. And if we do that, so this from glucose, we've changed things around and leave the rest of it the same. So position three, OHH, and position four and five, we leave it alone as it was in glucose. You should get fructose. So let's take a look, HOH, HOH, good. Fourth position, HOH, also good. Third position, OHH, which is just like glucose, yes. And then the first two positions are, um, one is just a regular carbon chain, hydrated carbon, and the other one is a ketone. And the ketone has two R groups, which means two carbon chains, right? There's a carbon chain here, and there's a carbon chain here. And then there's your aldehyde. Um, not your aldehyde, there's your carboxyl, no, carbonyl group, carbonyl group. So that's the definition of ketone, carbonyl group, group with two R's attached to it. So that's how you can quickly identify a fructose. And so once again, let's just practice drawing it. We want four intersections in a glucose, but because the ketone is gonna come in the middle, we're not gonna get four intersections. It's dextrose, so OH is going to be on the right, CH2OH on the bottom, and because first and second position got flipped, CH2OH there, and then in glucose, using the, using the rule two, three, four, third position is flipped, so keep that just like glucose, everything else is standard operations, so all the OH is on the right, and we have fructose, let's compare. Let's clean this up a little bit. Do we have fructose? CH2OH, yes, second position has, uh, second position has the carbonyl group, carbonyl, carbonyl group, and then everything else looks arranged just the same way. So that's how we quickly draw a uh, straight chain fructose by remembering glucose. So glucose can be the base for thinking about everything else. Uh, it makes things easy for me, and I hope it does for you as well.